Welcome everyone. Happy Monday. It is Andrew here from Apple Insider and we are talking about the brand new just released 13 inch MacBook Pro 2020. Now I know a lot of you are expecting to see a 14 inch MacBook Pro replace the 13 inch and it looks like that's not in the cards for right now. Whether that was always as intended or some other delays cropped up, we don't know. But this is what we have right now to work with and we are excited because there are some significant improvements across the board for this line. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Starting off with uh, what a lot of people are probably going to be asking is the keyboard. Is it the same keyboard that has been giving us problems in the past? No, this is the brand new Magic Keyboard first debuted with that 16 inch MacBook Pro before making its way to the 13 inch MacBook Air back in March. And now we have it on the 13 inch MacBook Pro. It has all the things you like that the new scissor switch design that's going to be more reliable, tried and true, We've got one millimeter of key travel. We've really enjoyed typing on the Magic Keyboards in general. So it's really nice to see that come to here. Has that physical escape key and the inverted T design for the arrow keys. So a lot of really great perks to that updated keyboard. Then we have the new Intel 10th generation chipsets. These are gonna be a big deal, but there's a couple different nuances that are important to pay attention to. There are mainly two versions of the 13 inch MacBook Pro. They're the base configurations and then there are the 10th gen configurations. And when you're looking, there are limits when you're going with that eighth gen Intel chipset. So as we go through the rest of the specs to compare, it's important to take note of those because if you're looking for something like the max amount of RAM, you can't go with those eighth gen Intel chips. You have to choose either the i5 or the i7 of the 10th gen, 10th gen Intel chips. So we'll pay attention to that as we go. Depending on what you're coming from, you're gonna notice a huge increase in performance, especially from a dual core chip around 2.8 times the performance as far as the processor goes. So stepping down into our specs, the next thing we have to talk about is storage. Apple has doubled the storage across the board. Now, instead of starting at 128 gigs, we are starting at 256. If you're going with the eighth gen chipset, you can go up to two terabytes of storage, but if you slide on up to those uh, 10th gen Intel chips, you can go up to four terabytes of internal storage. So a lot more storage across the board there, definitely doubling that at the uh, you know, lower prices is going to be fantastic, much better value when you're picking up the new machines. When it comes to memory, when it comes to RAM, the base models are still starting out with eight gigs and they're using that 2133 megahertz RAM and that can go up to 16 gigs. If you go up to those 10th gen chips, uh, 16 gig now standard on those and they're using faster memory. It's the 3733 megahertz RAM. So faster, 30% faster RAM on those, more than 30% faster and you can go up to 32 gigs. So if you have the high end, one of those upper end uh, 10th gen Intel chipsets, then you can go to 32 gigs of RAM in there when you're building yours to order. It is a customizable option, 32 gig first time for the 13 inch MacBook Pro. Apple is also featuring new Intel Iris Plus graphics. We have Intel Iris Plus graphics on those 10th gen models. The lower end models using those 8th gen chipsets, they are on Intel Iris Plus 645, different from the 655 Intel Iris Plus previous gen ones that we saw on the 2019 MacBook Pros 13 inch. So an improvement there in graphics, but I think it's really on those 10th gen Intel chips that we're seeing the better performance because those have much better graphics and it's going to enable you to use a 6K display. So both of them can use a 5K display. Previous gen could support a 5K display, but the new upper end MacBook Pros 13 inch can now support a 6K display, which means yes, you can use the new Apple Pro Display XDR with your 13 inch MacBook Pro. These machines have the same battery life as the previous generation. They now support Dolby Atmos for audio. Uh, there is no Wi-Fi 6 sticking with uh, Wi-Fi AC here, and unfortunately no improvement to that FaceTime camera, still only 720p. So we didn't get quite all the changes that we were hoping for this time, like the better Wi-Fi, improved camera, and um, possibly that larger display, 14 inch display, but we still got a lot of great improvements here. These machines start off at $12.99 or $11.99 for education pricing. Uh, but I think a lot of people, if you wanna max this thing out, you want that, you wanna use a 6K display, you wanna have 32 gigs of RAM when you're building this thing, you maybe want that four terabytes of internal storage. If you want any of those things, you do need those new, much faster, much better, 10th generation Intel chips, that uh, 2.0 gigahertz, uh, i5 or the i7 models, any of those, those start at $17.99. So there is a kind of limiter there between those 8th gen chips and the 10th gen chips. If you really want to max this thing out, you got to go with the 10th gen, which I think you guys all knew anyway, and I probably don't need to tell you. 
So that is it, the new MacBook Pros available to order now. You can grab these things at the links down below in the description. The Apple Insider Price Guide is the absolute best way to save money on all of your Apple gear. And let me know what you guys think of the new MacBook Pros. Let me know over on Twitter, Andrew underscore OSU, and I will see you in the next video with likely even longer quarantine hair. Hey everyone, did you guys like that video? Be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys want to see. And follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. And until next time, we'll see you later.